Hi and welcome to my channel once again. This is Daniel for D Vibes Entertainment, and today I have another video for you. But before we go into the video, have you subscribed on my channel? All you need to do is just click on the button and click on the bell so that you don't miss on any other video every time I upload. Today's video is about creating a flame in your videos using Premiere Pro, just like this. Okay, straight on we go into our software. As you can see, I'll just go down here and create a bin, a new bin where I can upload my videos. Okay, right here. Then I can go and get my videos plus the photo that I'm going to be using. So I'll just highlight all these and drag them down into my new bin right there okay so these are my videos plus the photo that i'm going to be using the first thing i want to do is i'll first get my photo and drag it onto my timeline in the meantime i can be closing this window of the bin so i'll just stretch this this is my photo that i'm going to put just in the background of my videos because i want to blur it i'll go to my effects right here and then this time around i'm going to use the camera blur so i'll just tap in camera blur and i look for it right here so when you scroll down here it's actually right here so i'll just drag that and drop it into my can always go down to effects control then go to camera and at the percentage blur is where you, you determine how much blurriness you want in your photo for this time around i'll just go with a 10 just like that then i'll go back to my import box and i look for my bin that i created i just scroll through here and get to my bin which is right here double click on it and of course my videos are here so i will select all my videos and drag them onto video to just like that then i can close this window so my videos are right here on top what you want to do is go to your videos and try to scale them down i'll go to from my first video click on it then go right here onto motion and under motion i go to scale then i'll scale that video down to say around 65 can just click in here and say 65 so that I have it at 65 so because I have so many other videos sometimes you can be having close to 10 videos and you can go on to each and every video go to motion click on motion then press ctrl C then come down to your videos in the timeline highlight them and press ctrl V now when you go through your videos you'll notice that all your videos have been scaled down i'll go back to my effects then go effects then under effects i'll come and look for radio radio shadow which is right here i'll just get that radio shadow and drop it into my first video just like that then i'll go to effects control scroll down look for radio shadow which is right here then under radio shadow i'll first go to shadow color i want to use white so I'll click right here on the shadow color i'm going to go for white and i'll click and say okay now you can't see the white here why because you need to go down again to radio shadow and click resize layer after resize layer you go back to you go to opacity and under opacity just drag it to 100 so that it is all white for the light source we shall go back there later but projection distance you want to bring it down to say five 
and you enter okay something like that now you when you look through in my monitor here you find that my window my frame is not proportional so that's when you go to light source and under light source you drag the first numbers which you'll see there are two sets of numbers there so you drag the first numbers onto your left until that frame is in the right position that you want it or it's well balanced of course you'll see the frame trying to get into the right kind of direction that you want it and if you feel I'll also move them and try to put my frame in the right position just like that now okay that looks good of course like I said if you have quite many other videos that you want to put frames on you can go to one at a time all you have to do is go to that effect itself click on it press ctrl C and then highlight all your videos just like this the ones that you've not worked on and then press ctrl v you realize that all your videos have frames on them to put a frame you can always use the trick to get to achieve that okay that looks pretty good the next step we are going to do is try to put some transitions or some effects like the 3d to make these to give our video some life I'll go to my effects okay I'll go back to my effects right here and under effects I'll type in 3d 3d basic it's right here basic 3d then I'll grab that basic 3d and drop it into my first video Okay, right there now I'm going to create a frame for my effect of course I'll go to effects control and just below you'll find the basic 3d I'll first go to the swivel because I want to create a keyframe I'll click on it here then come down here and move few keyframes in front and then move create a okay and then I'll go to my next video apply the 3d basic or basic 3d and then also create a keyframe just go just below here go to swivel because I want to create a keyframe I'll drag that around there and this time around I will slide my numbers the opposite direction just like that and then I can go to my next video and do the same click on it Again, apply the basic 3D. And also give it a transition. Create a keyframe. And slide the numbers to a direction proportional that you feel. Close that and go to video transitions. I'll just try out the zoom. And in the zoom, you get that transition and drop it just in between your videos I'll just use zoom cross zoom all through my videos so you go putting in the middle of all your videos when you play, you'll have something like this.
that's it for today i hope this video will be important to you and not forgetting that if you have any comments just drop them down in my comment section and don't forget to subscribe on my channel just by clicking on the subscription button and don't forget to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any other video that i'll be uploading that's it for today i see you in the next video